All right, hello from Indy. This is going to be a remake of video number th three. Um, I had a Chrysler employee share a little tidbit of information, and I felt it was important. And rather than, th there was really no good way to add it to the current video. So I just thought the simple way to do it was to redo this video, being it's a pretty short video. And in this one, we're going to decipher all this information you see right here, the date and the casting and the time and all that, how to read those. The first one is how to read it is the date, November 22nd, 1972. I, I think you guys have that. Uh, you can understand it yourself. Obviously, they change that every day. And I'm not going to belabor the point on that. Next is, this is our casting number. And as the block was revised over the years, these would change. Uh, so there, you know, this is a 72 block. The earlier blocks will have a different number uh, than this one. This is obviously a 440, pretty simple to understand. And this is the pattern or cavity as they called them, um, at the Chrysler foundry. Now all this information I'm sharing with you comes from employees of local 550. Uh, they are the people that were making these blocks and I'm in, you know, I'm friends with some of them, and I'm in touch with the retirees, and they work there their whole lives. They're proud of what they did, and they're glad to share the information. Um, so I always say, if you want to know the truth of something, uh, go to the source. Go to the people that were there doing it and working on it. Um, this number was put on by the pattern shop on each pattern or cavity. And that number helped them understand if after the pour they were having pro a problem with these blocks, they simply knew what pattern was the problem and they could go to the pattern shop and they could fix that. You'll find this, this whole number on two places. This is on both sides of the block. The pattern number is on three places. It's both sides of the block. And you'll also see it here on the back and it can be on either side. So this again is pattern number 10. The rumor I want to dispel is that the lower the number, the better. That is not the truth in any way, shape, or form. There was no sliding scale of Chrysler quality. If a block was poured, it either met quality standards or it did not. Um, this was simply like I've already said. If there was a problem with a pour in one of the cavities, they knew what one it was later. The inspector could call and say, hey, Pattern 10 is causing us all kinds of trouble. They could fix it. That's what that means. Finally, we have the shift. There were two shifts at the Chrysler Indianapolis Foundry. The day shift started at 6 in the morning. The afternoon shift, or night as they called it, started at 2.30 in the afternoon. Now the exception is the people on the cleaning line came in two hours early on the day shift, and they were there at 4 in the morning. And this is your clock at what time this was done. You'll notice there's nine dots. Each one of them represents one hour. The big one is the first. So that'd be hour one in the shift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine represents. You have to keep in mind that when they work there that they had breaks and lunch time. So that's accounting for that. So when was this block made? We know. It was built, or poured, I should say, November 22nd, 1972, in pattern number 10, on the afternoon shift at 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30 in the afternoon. That's how you read all this information. Have any questions, post below. Later.